I don't know if you call this a blog or a, just a bunch of clips put together of me going through this mess that I call my freezer. Yes, those are tomatoes. You know, my husband would tell me, it's too dark, I can't see anything. So, anyways, we're going to go through this giant mess that is my freezer. Sort it, organize it, figure out what all I have, figure out what all I need, and get it together. So let's do this. <laughs> okay, we're back. Down there, I got it all cleaned out. Down there is, in here, is containers of pureed pumpkin. And that big ice cream container there is actually chicken broth. So I'm just going to leave them at the bottom. And then here, these were bananas that were like right on the edge of not being good anymore. So I actually just stuck them in my freezer. And then when I want to make banana bread, I pull them out, defrost them, and bam, banana bread. So we're going to sort through everything I have and organize it all and get it all packed up and redone and figure out what I look like starting for fall and winter. So here we go. All the ice has been scraped off the edge. Now very important tip when you're defrosting your freezer, you either open it up, turn it off, let it all melt, and then drain it out. Most freezers have a little, oh, my drain tube is covered. Most freezers have a little drain tube. You drain them or if you're going to scrape it off the edge like I did, use a plastic, plastic, very, very important, plastic scraper. Because the metal can damage the inside and cause it to frost up even more than it does. Mine frosts up the way it does because I put, I tend to have a bad habit of putting hot food in my freezer. So it frosts up. That's my fault. Plus, sometimes when my freezer is only half full, that will also cause frosting. There's all kinds of reasons why your freezer will frost up. But my the biggest reason mine does is I have a bad habit of putting hot food in my freezer. So, I'm my fault. But always use plastic when you clean it out. So, that's what I did. I scraped it all clean. And now I'm going to pull all that out. All right, guys, let's start going through all of these bags. I'm going to get stuff sorted, organized, and under control. Okay. Freezer, got all that ice out. Got it all semi-cleaned up. So, over there in the orange bag, that's that pumpkin puree and the chicken broth. Um, I use that absolutely last. That's why it's at the bottom of my freezer. That blue bag is a bag filled with sliced and frozen different veggies. Peppers, onions, celery, green beans, all that stuff. Um, we have a friend who we do, we do daycare for his rabbits when he goes out of town. And the way he pays us is with... Um, gift cards to our local food co-op um i asked him to do that years ago so instead of giving us cash for taking care of his rabbits he gives us gift cards for the local food co-op um i go and buy veggies at the co-op that come from local farmers and then i slice them and freeze them so in the blue bag is a bunch of half gallon ziploc or one gallon ziploc baggies filled with quart bags of sliced veggies. So peppers, onions, carrots, leeks, um, green beans from my garden this year. And then on the bottom, the very bottom, because I won't use it hardly ever. And if I do need it, I can just dig everything out. <clears throat> this here is a big one gallon bag of chicken bones, chicken skin, chicken fat, all of that. Um, it's not quite enough to make a big thing of chicken broth, so I just stuck it in a one gallon bag and froze it. So when I do save up enough, I can make more. 
and add the two, add the uh, that frozen stuff and any other chicken bones and stuff that I get and make myself broth. Um, underneath of it is those bananas. On top of it in here, um, you guys have seen me do it, I can my own tea. And I don't throw away my tea leaves or my tea bags right away. I actually use them twice. So the first time when I'm done with them with my first round, I bag them and freeze them. And then when I get um, like a good 10 pounds of tea leaves, because I do loose leaf tea and I do tea bags. When I get about 10 pounds of it, I add it all together and I do... Um, second round tea. It ends up being a lot lighter tea, but that's okay when you've got all that large quantity of second round tea bags and tea leaves. You actually do get a really nice tea. So that's the first layer. Let's get on to the next. All right, next layer over here. Is a big bag of sliced veggies but these aren't my veggies that I use for cooking everyday cooking um, these are onion butts onion skins um, shredded cucumbers that got too big cucumber butts celery butts celery leaves um, tomato tops um, Veggie scraps that can be used and saved to make veggie stock out of so I always save that here is My bags of frozen sliced veggies that I use for cooking you've seen me Add these to all kinds of different things and then over here I Had two big bags of these frozen sliced prepared um, fruit two giant big orange bags like this. I had two of them completely full at the beginning of summer um, and now there's only one bag but it's not even a whole bag it's like a little over half a bag of fruit because we made um, infused water all summer um, so all that's left is like three one two yep three one gallon bags filled with little quart bags of sliced up fruit and now that the end of the winter season or the end of summer season has come and we're getting into winter what I will do with this fruit over the winter is I'll pull out a bag at a time let the bag defrost send it through my ninja blender and make breakfast fruit bread for my kids all winter so I never let anything go to waste as my grandfather used to say waste not want not in other words if you wasted it you must not have wanted it and you must not care about eating so all right I got a couple more bags of stuff to go through so let's do it all right you guys there it is all done and finished in here I've got hamburger um, bacon, pork, um, just normal meat um, that I use every day. And then in here I've got, oh, that bacon should be moved over to here. And then in there I've got um, bacon, um, Summer sausage, um, pepperoni, the uh, type of meat that you don't use on an everyday basis. And then I've always got a thing of the chimichangas, well, or burritos. In our house we call them burritos because I put them in my oven and I bake them up with cheese and spaghetti sauce and um, canned tomatoes and make um like a burrito meal out of them for a quick easy dinner um i will make a video on that for you guys so you can see it and then in here i've got at the back back there we have gnocchis and then tortellini cheese stuffed tortellini so that's my freezer all sorted organized cleaned 
ready to go for the winter. Um, I took an inventory list and I'm ready to know what I need to buy when I go shopping for my shopping trip. So, thanks for coming along you guys. We'll see you in the next one. And remember everyone, stay positive. Bye.